creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together ooky, the Adams family. The house is a museum, when people come to see them, they really are a scream, the Adams family. Neat. Sweet. Petite. So get a witch's shawl on, a broomstick you can crawl on, we're gonna pay a call on the Adams family. Good morning, Big Spring. I'm Sydney. And I'm Janelle, and we're here with your Channel 3 News. Are you ready for Minithon? We are making a difference. We are making a difference. We are making a difference. Making a difference. Making a difference. Making a difference. We are making a difference. We are making a difference. Minithon is a way to raise money for children with cancer. It's an online event that we do here that's based on the Penn State Thon with loads of fun activities that raises awareness for kids with cancer. Minithon is getting the student body together to fight for kids with cancer. Minithon is an all night event held here at the high school. Um, we do this every two years and it's focused around childhood cancer and our efforts as uh, peers, uh, neighbors, everything else that we can do to raise awareness and fight the battle of cancer. My favorite part was the dance because just when everyone was getting tired was like when the dance was and it was the perfect time and it just got everyone up and dancing and it's a really good DJ and I hope we have a DJ again this year. My favorite thing about Mini Thong was definitely the dodgeball tournament. My favorite part of Minithon would be the opening and closing ceremonies where we all come back together after a really fun and event planned night to reflect on what the meaning of Minithon is, um, why we're here, and what we are hoping to raise awareness to, which is childhood cancer. Being a part of Minithon is so awesome. Like, you, when they show you all those numbers and show you how much you've raised for all the kids, it's such a cool feeling just knowing that you are a part of something so much bigger and that you are giving back to all of those kids with cancer. What I pull from Minithon is that the community coming together for something so big and so powerful and that's above us, it's a really great opportunity for us as students to be a part of it, but then it's also very beneficial for those who have childhood cancer and I'm very honored to be a part of it. Minithon has taught me to be grateful and not take things for granted. It also teaches me that I can make a big difference. Join us in our fight against childhood cancer. 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 Attention Bulldogs, only nine weeks until Minithon. Over the next few weeks, you'll be hearing more about the event and how you can help support the Four Diamonds, a local organization supporting children and their families as they battle pediatric cancer. Please, please join us this Saturday, January 14th, for an awesome fundraising event. Attention juniors and seniors, if you are considering a gap year educational, vocational experience between graduation and the start of college, please come to the counseling office for more information on the Congress Bundestag Vocational Youth Exchange Program in Germany. This provides students with a learning living experience with a, with a host, family, and hands-on internship with a German company. These scholarships are currently available for seniors. Check in the counseling office for more information on any of them. Everything changes, but beauty Internships are a great experience for anyone looking to learn more about the workforce. Check this video out by Jenna Kurtz on her internship. Hello, my name is Jenna Kurtz. This past semester, I did an internship with the Carlisle Police Department to see what police officers do on a daily basis. 
During my internship, I shadowed a few people in the department, such as the lieutenant, dispatcher, and an officer. The major highlight of my internship was being able to do a daily ride-along in the police cars once I turned 18. I had the opportunity to watch several traffic stops and officers make arrests for, of people for different crimes. The only problem that I had with this internship was that for the majority of the time, I could not ride in the police cars because I was not 18. I learned several things during my internship. For example, the paperwork the officers have to do, how first responders communicate over the radio, and how dispatchers deal with distressed people over the phone. This internship has benefited me because it showed me that I want to pursue a job in the criminal justice field. If you think you might have an interest in an internship, see Mrs. Black for details and to sign up. Spring. I'm Ashley here with your sports. Tonight in sports, boys is basketball at Northern, varsity at 7.30. Girls basketball versus Northern, varsity at 7.30 and JV at 6 p.m. Swimming versus Trinity at 4.15. And now to Jamie with your weather. When there's madness, when there's poison in your head, when the sadness leaves you broken in your bed, I will hold you in the depths of your despair. Good morning, Big Spring. I'm Jamie, here with your weather. A light wintry mix will occur late this afternoon by 5 p.m. While there won't be much accumulation with this storm, there could be an icy glaze developing this evening north of Harrisburg. Tomorrow will be much warmer with rain showers by the evening. Highs will be in the upper 40s. Thursday's forecast will be within a few degrees of the record high, which will be near 60. Then another chance for light wintry mix will move in for the weekend. Now back to Sydney and Janelle with your Channel 3 News. Thank you, Jamie, for the weather. The Advanced Mass Media class will be hosting a funny pet photo video contest. Check this out. Oh, hey there, Major. Would you happen to like photo contests? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> well, starting January 11th, Big Spring High School's Advanced Mass Media class will be hosting a funny pet photo slash video contest. Submit your funny pet video slash photos to newsroom at bigspringsd.org. All submissions are due by January 18th, so don't delay. Voting will be held on the Channel 3 website, www.bshspawprint.com, from the 18th to the 25th. Also, to sweeten the deal, the top three winners will receive a treat for their pet. So get to a big spring and show the school your silly pet. Veritas and Key Club are partnering with Goodwill, the Salvation Army, and Carlisle Cares to donate household items to those in need. The drive will be held next week. Here are the details.
Up until January 25th, group foot pictures of clubs and organizations are being taken for the yearbook. A complete calendar of the dates and times for these pictures has been shared with students and faculty in their email. Here are the upcoming groups. Today, during Channel 3, Superhero Club and the Growler, Big Brother, Big Sisters in the Counseling Office, and Department Heads in Mr. McVitie's room. Period 2 is Band, Period 3 is Chorus, A Lunch, Mock Trial in the Gym and Hunting and Fishing Club in room 230. B Lunch, Tri M in the Auditorium, GSA in room 310, and and NAHS in the Art Room. Tomorrow, Period 2, Community Sign in 215, Period 3, FBLA in the Counseling Office, Lunch A, Origami in the Library, and B Lunch E Club in room 353. Students, please consult with your group's advisors to whether or not your group will be dressing in a certain way, such as wearing a uniform or club t-shirt. Make sure you're ready to order your high school yearbook. Order information is available in the high school office and on the bulletin board beside room 332. Stop by room 350 if you have any questions. That's all from us, Big Spring. Have a good day. Bye.